Automation Studio allows you to test out your solution on the same machine that you used to develop it. Let's see how that works. Unlike in previous videos, we are now looking at the complete solution file. Firstly, we need to make sure that there are no errors in our project. The project cannot be run if it has any errors. We can see that there is an error, there is an event handler that we didn't fully specify. We can delete that. OK, now there are no errors. Save the project. Click Start Project. Clicking Start Project loads the solution exactly as it would be loaded on an agent's machine. Our callout is displayed automatically. Also, the CRM is loaded automatically. The event handler we created was set to listen for the project loaded event. That event was raised as soon as we clicked Start Project. The event handler displayed the callout as intended. While running a project, the debug panel at the left shows useful debugging information. For example, we can see at what time the event handler was triggered. We can also see the value of assets properties. For example, we can see properties of the callout. We can see that its shown property is set to true and the time at which it was last displayed. Let's fill in some account information. While our solution creates the account in the CRM, watch how the active step in the workflow is highlighted. We can see that the process runs as expected. If we return to the debug panel and open the variables section, we can see that the variable accounts created has been increased to 1, as expected. To return to editing mode, click Stop Project. 